FBI raided Trump's house, here are six legal cases facing the former U.S. President A number of Donald Trump's legal problems are now in the spotlight, after the former President of the United States, U.S., claimed FBI agents raided his estate at Mar-a-Lago in Florida on Monday, August 8, 2022, night. U.S. law enforcement officials did not immediately respond to requests for comment on Trump's claims, and the focus of the investigation was not immediately clear. However, Al Jazeera reported on the following investigations and legal cases facing Trump, one missing state documents the U.S. National Archives and Records Administration in February informed Congress that it recovered about 15 boxes of White House documents from Mar-a-Lago, some of which contained classified material. The U.S. House of Representatives Oversight Committee at the time said it was expanding its investigation into Trump's actions, and asked the agency to submit additional information. Trump previously confirmed that he had agreed to return certain records to the U.S. National Archives, calling it an ordinary and routine process. To attack on the Capitol building a congressional panel investigating the January 6, 2021 attack is building a case for Trump's lawlessness, related to his efforts to undo his 2020 election loss. Vice Chair Liz Cheney said the committee could make a number of referrals to the Justice Department to seek criminal charges against Trump, who has previously accused the panel of conducting a sham investigation. In a two-March court filing, the committee detailed Trump's efforts to persuade Mike Pence, then U.S. Vice President, to deny voter rolls to Democratic candidate Joe Biden who won the election, or delay the counting of votes in Congress. Trump's efforts could be judged to violate federal law, which makes it illegal to obstruct any official process corruptly, or attempt to do so, said David Carter, the California federal judge overseeing the case. In a March 2 filing, the committee said it was likely Trump and others conspired to defraud U.S. citizens. Trump is said to have pressured Pence, the committee cited his efforts to convince state election officials, the public, and members of Congress that the 2020 election was stolen. Even though some of his own allies have said that there is no evidence of fraud. The committee cannot charge Trump with a federal crime. That decision must be made by the Department of Justice under Attorney General Merrick Garland. Trump could also be charged with sedition conspiracy, with U.S. law stipulating it is illegal to overthrow the U.S. government by force. Some of the participants in the January 6 attack on the Capitol were supporters of the 45th U.S. president, and have been charged with sedition conspiracy. Three fraud of donations from supporters Democrats told a June hearing of the January 6 committee that Trump, a Republican, raised about $250 million from supporters. The donations were initially claimed to be used to advance election fraud claims in court, but the committee's findings found much of the money was channeled elsewhere. This raises the possibility that he could be charged with wire fraud, which prohibits obtaining money under false or fraudulent pretenses, legal experts say. For Georgia election offenses a special jury was selected in May to consider evidence in a Georgia prosecutor's investigation into Trump's alleged attempts to influence the outcome of the state's 2020 election. The investigation focuses in part on a phone call Trump made to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, a Republican, on January 2, 2021. Trump asked Raffensperger to find the votes needed to overturn Trump's election loss, according to a leaked recording obtained by the Washington Post. Legal experts say Trump may have violated at least three Georgia criminal election laws, conspiracy to commit election fraud, criminal solicitation to commit election fraud, and intentional interference with the performance of election duties. However, Trump could argue that he was engaging in free speech and did not intend to influence the election. Five inflating property prices New York State Attorney General Letitia James is conducting a civil investigation to examine whether the Trump Organization inflated real estate values. Trump and his two adult children, Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump, agreed to testify in the investigation that began on July 15. Trump has denied wrongdoing and called the investigation politically motivated. James is a Democrat. 
6. Defamation E. Jean Carroll, a former Elle magazine writer, sued Trump for defamation in 2019 after the then-president denied her allegations that he raped her in the 1990s at a New York City department store. Trump accused Jean of lying to drum up sales for a book. A Manhattan court is preparing to decide whether Carroll's lawsuit should be dismissed. A lawyer for Trump argued that she is protected by federal law, which makes government employees immune from defamation claims.